Hey, what's up? You looking for a sling? Looking for a sling pack? I actually have a few to show you. I wanna highlight this one especially though, because I think a lot of you are gonna like this Bellroy sling. I think a lot of you are gonna like some of these too. So, so we'll get into them in a second. Now, this sling has been very interesting for me to use. You can notice the, the form factor. It's like wide and narrow. When you put it on, okay, you've got just a little thin nylon webbing strap here. You do have a, where is it? You do have a magnetic clip. Magnets. How do they work? But it's closer to one side than the other. And I find that that clip is over here. What this bag wants me to do is it feels like it wants me to go with my left arm through this thing. Why? Because then you can get this through here. So any of you like lefties or whether or not you're left or right handed, if you put your left arm through things, you're gonna like this. If you're right sided, listen, I've been using this thing for a while and I've never, I still haven't changed it up. For some reason, it just feels weird. It just feels weird like that. But another cool thing about this bag, meaning it's weird for me to go over, you know, the other shoulder. I like, I don't know, this is, <laughs> this feels like home base. You know what I mean? Then another thing is a lot of cool, a lot of really cool people wear their slings up in front. What's nice about this is especially in transit, when you're on some metro or something like that, you got all your goodies right here. Really easily accessible to get to stuff. I love that. Now there's one other thing this bag is doing right now before I show you it, you know, into all the pockets and stuff. That's actually really interesting. You see how it's actually compressing itself. Okay, this bag actually compresses itself from a wide big bag down to something like this. And it does it just by the weight of the bag as it carries you. The reason why it does that is because it has this nice little, this great little design for that where you can see the strap just, it's like, you want one more time? I drink your milkshake. Okay, that's cool. One of the things you're gonna notice on it is when it's on you, why I bring it up there is when it's on you, you can, you can find that you need to kind of pull this open a little bit, get a little bit, get it up and off of you a little bit. It's definitely easier to access your gear when it's off body, right? Which I do a lot. I carry this, I carry it on my body when I'm in transit, then when I get to where I'm going, I'll normally have it on the table next to me or on my chair or something like that. Maybe not the best move if I'm in some crazy city with lots of you know, people who steal stuff or something. I know a lot of you are concerned about that. But for me, it allows me to get into this better. Let me show you what the pockets are. We've got one, thin on the front, okay? You can see this nice Bellroy logo on the black version. This Bellroy logo is like black on black. It looks really slick. You also know this, we have these nice little leather zip ties. My apologies to the vegans out there. They use v they use non-vegan actual leather. And I do have to say that the way that it breaks in over time, the way that it feels, it gives it a nice groundedness, almost like an earthiness to this product because this woven polyester, really, really water resistant, really durable, really scuff resistant, easy to flip the dirt right off of stuff. This bag, I'm gonna say this now in case I forget to say it later. What's so interesting about this bag is that it doesn't, uh, it's, it's like a very unique sling. To me, it doesn't look too techy. It doesn't look like it's an outdoorsy thing. It doesn't look, it's a very urban, interesting look. And I think a lot of us, myself included, appreciate that because I'm not just an outdoorsy guy. Sometimes I go outdoors with my family and I'm not just a techie guy. And sometimes I'm in like downtown Toronto, you know, taking pictures with a <laughs> digital camera, but not all the time. So I like that this feels a little more, uh, a little more humanitarian, a little more humane, a little more just like we're all people, black, white, <laughs> red, yellow, brown, like, young, old, male, female, and everything in between. We're all human, and this feels like a human scale product. That might sound really highfalutin to you, but when it comes to designing things, you have to make decisions, right? And it can be easier to put, uh, to, to make like, you know, techie looking stuff or, you know, old school, I love this. This is Green Room 136, this is the Dayfarer. This is a sensational wax canvas uh, banana hammock <laughs> fanny pack from Track. I'm gonna show you each of those. I'll put a link to all of them in the description below at this time code. If you use my links, it supports the channel. Don't use those links if you don't wanna support the channel. It's pretty simple. So we have the front pocket, which is thin, okay? This is like your quick, quick access. This is where I take my phone 
in what is, I, I never really talked about this. Let me just do it here. This is the, also from Bellroy. Bellroy have been good for, good to me. They, they send me stuff and, and, and I use it and I, I end up not using other shit. Why? Because <laughs> I fucking don't need any new stuff. I'm fine. I'm like, I have a cell phone case and it has this three card thing. It's got a little magnet in it, magnet in it. Magnics, as my daughter says. It's a magnet. And then I can fit three cards in here. I got my ID, my ATM, and my, uh, my you know, like business visa card, right? This is my iPhone X, nice leather on this. This is the three card case. I'll put this in the description below, a link to it at this time code. I have loved this case. I've gone, I've, I keep getting them and giving them to my friends and they, they love it. I don't know, maybe I'm sounding like I'm selling too much to you on this one. All I know is I haven't used any other fucking case, so, you know, it might work for you too. This is where I throw my phone, right? Right in there. It's really nice to have my phone out of my pocket, I find. Many of you, if you're just experimenting for the first time with a sling or something like this, a lot of you ladies with the purses, you know what it's like to be completely pocket free. That's awesome, especially when you're wearing some like parkour inspired pants from this French company called Entre, Entre, Entre Fork. I'll put a link to them in the description below. I like it. But having stuff out of the pocket means I can move around. I'm, I'm with my kids. I can, I can run around on the beach. I can do what I'm doing, which is what I've been doing in Mexico for the last little while with this guy. So front pocket, all right, thin, narrow. I keep my phone in there. I also have, because I'm testing out, wireless Bluetooth earbuds, okay? These are the Jabra 65Ts. These ones might be one of the best to go with in terms of cost and what you can get out of it. A lot of people love these. That review is coming soon. Subscribe if you want that. But very simple. Inside here, you have a simple nylon uh, liner. Solid. No frills, no thrills. You're looking at that. It's flat pocket, no dimension to it. So I do notice getting in and out of it that if like, for instance, with these, if they're down below, if I can put them on the side, have them somewhere, that'd be great. But because it's just one big thing, it, they kinda, it all kinds of jumbles together. And it's not that bad. But you will find that the humanitarianness, the humaneness of this product, you will find that the reason why there's so many tech products where there's a spot for every dongle is because it can be nice depending on what you carry, to have a spot for everything. This is not a spot for everything bag, okay? This is a, I need something, a crossbody bag, a sling to bring my stuff that I, I just, I like the look of it, it's fine, it carries my things, I'm not being too precious about it. This keeps you honest that way. What you have to be honest about is if you're gonna get a little annoyed there's a two places I think where you get annoyed. Number one, you don't have any in, in, internal organization inside of here. Just a place to throw those, those, for example, would be great so that I have a big open spot for my phone. That'd be nice. But the, te the second thing is this. This little opening back here, what I love is there's a bunch of space inside this bag, but you gotta go through it through this opening, okay? Where your zippers, I almost wish these zippers could come back and around or something. I could get more visibility inside of here. Now, for my, and it's not actually visibility. It's like, it's like get in and out of it miss, right? So you see how there's like a little bit of pinch getting in and a little bit of pinch getting out. This is my little smoke sack. When I'm hanging out with the friends, you wanna have a, you know, a little ceremony, a little moment with each other. Got my little smoke sack there, right? That's, <laughs> that's daddy's medicine bag. Um, and I also have my Fuji X100T, which I love, and I took the I took the full like uh, I normally have a little rope around it and I carry it around like that. I took that off completely because I we've, I've been just using this, throwing the camera inside of here. What I noticed for this camera, see the size of it, micro four thirds, really like I think it's micro four thirds. You people know more about photos than me, but I like the photos that this takes. I like the vibe that I get out of this, and I like that I just put on a lens cap. I don't even have a lens protector on there. Some of you are like, oh my God, how crazy is that? Here's a little card from my son for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, you guys. Um, going in and out here, going in and out here is like, you just, you just kind of, you want it to be just, just in the middle of the bag. And here's the real takeaway here. If you have a lot of stuff, you will notice that you have like a, you have to get things in and out. If you don't have that much stuff, like this little smokestack, really easy just to shove into a place. It's just a lot of little bells and whistles, pipe and cannabis and all sorts of stuff in there. So uh, being able to have a lot of spare room in there makes it easier to get stuff in and out. So it depends on what you're carrying with you, all right? Do you know what you need to carry? 
do you know how much stuff you need to carry? So here's my camera. I also always have, always have a meat stick with me. These are from uh, Country Archer. Matterful.co slash snacks. When you have good, real, like high protein, high fat, good nutrition snacks, nuts. What, like you can eat a bunch of nuts. You can just do it. They're like I know, count the calories and all this other stuff, but don't eat any, don't eat crap. Don't eat processed foods. Don't eat that shit. Eat stuff that you really like that's actually like, you know, from the earth, so to speak. This grass-fed beef, I have like some complications with, but here's the deal. Raw, good protein like that, good fat, that is nutrition. That is nourishment. That is energy. It's the kind of energy I can use to do the shit I need to do in the world. In the same way, this is the kind of bag that I can use to be the fucking dad that I am in the world. Because I got a lot of pictures to take, I got a lot of weed to smoke, and I got a lot of like being present to be. This kind of form factor makes that easier. I don't have my laptop, I don't have all this big shit. One of bummers is I can't fit my, my new iPad. I got the small iPad Pro. This has become my notebook. I live in this thing. But here's the deal. It can't even fit uh, in here. This is not like the 13 inch or 12 inch one. This is the smaller one. And it doesn't fit in, in the opening there. And even if it did, it'd be a little too wide uh, for the bag, okay? So I'll show you some of these in a second with the iPad for you iPad people. But I'm not done in here yet. There's a couple things I want to show you still. Number one, you've got a lot, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this since it's hard to get the visibility. You do have a good amount of space in here. Check this out, right? See the, the footprint of the bag, the, this like shoe box. It's almost like the perfect size for one size 10 like shoe, right? So you've got that space inside. Then you also have a zippered pocket on the inside here which actually is lined with fleece, okay? Built for your glasses, okay? So I put that there. I also have a little, cannabis vaporizer for, you know, a little CBD action. That pocket is zippered and you have another leather zipper pull there. But sorry for all like the cannabis paraphernalia. I know some of you are like, oh, this person is a drug addict. But uh, I live in California where it's legalized and, uh, and I gave up dr drinking. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, I still have a beer every now and again, but I used to drink a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> like, uh, like I like to party. And now I can't stand it because it just, it, the hangover is so shitty. And when you're drinking, you're always like, everything's gonna be okay, this is great, everything's fine, I'm fine, I don't have to work on much, I'm, things are good. And when you're smoking, you're like, I wonder why I'm so hard on myself. Another thing in here, you have a nice little pouch in, or, or patch in here that this bag is designed to move with you through your worlds and the little moments in between. Sorry, I have a daughter I'm always reading books to. We hope you travel well together for years to come. And a little key clip here. Now, here's the deal. I've been, uh, I've been like, this is, I have loved using this bag. I've been really pleased using this bag. And I haven't used most of these except for this. I used to use this a lot. This is the, the track. Uh, the t track from Scotland and they make it out of such great, like this is their dry wax canvas. It's bigger than their previous one, uh, which I like. I mean, the size on this is killer. Now this is like for a meat stick and your glasses, you got a zipper in the back. All these are water sealed. This whole thing's really water resistant. Um, very heritagey materials. So this is, you know, this is a sling kind of. Ugh. I have it a little tight for my waist. <laughs> I'm a 32 now, not a 34, mom. This uses a um, a dry cotton, like a, a really organic cotton. All the materials on this thing are so stinking heritagey, right? So killer. And then you have a buckle, a uh, little metal buckle, which is literally never gonna break, right? Which slides in and out, so you could do that if you want to. But honestly, when I wore this thing, it was around my waist. It was just like this. Can you see that? A little hip. And when you slide that around to the back and you bring your shirt up on top of it, like so, you don't have to worry about much. It looks, can you literally not see it? It looks fine. It's cool. You're just a cool dad. This is the cool dad bag. Okay, so this one's from Track. For any of you more fanny pack bum bag people, I've got a couple more to show you. Before I do, should know that I'm keeping track of all of these on my website and I can't update this video. I'm gonna find more stuff that I like in the future and I won't be able to update this video. So go to matterful.co slash slings, okay? And you're gonna find my favorite slings, tech slings, 
bum bags, fanny packs, whatever you want to call them, okay? Check out that link in the description below. And I apologize for my burpiness. Now, here's the deal. What you want to do with the sling is you want to think, what are the things I really need to bring? I always need my glasses. I always like to have my smoke sack. I like to have something like that. I'm still learning how to put these in my life because truth is you can kind of get away with not having those and not listening to that episode of whatever podcast you're listening to and just like enjoying the breezes a little bit. I got my meat stick. I'd love to bring my iPad with <laughs> with the damn Apple Pencil. It's like this thing is unfucking believable I literally use it as my notebook. It'd be amazing if I could get my book that I'm reading, How to Change Your Mind, but look at the size of that fucker. That's big, right? That's a big book. I'm not necessarily hopeful about that. My phone, right? These are like, if I could get my water bottle in. Now I'm in, I'm in like daily, this is like a big daily carry bag right now. Okay, this is like a big bag. What's interesting about the slings is that you can just have one shoulder on. You don't have this big old backpack thing. Your mileage may vary on this. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are really teched out and you've got all your little things and you're stoked on it, but I know some of you maybe haven't like really explored with the sling stuff for yourself yet. The trick on this is figure out what you want to bring and then just organize it into essentials, right? This is my essentials right here, okay? And then this is all my nice to have. Luckily, this is super small. I could include it in my essentials if I want, but then I need a bag that can do this. Well, guess what? That did it perfectly. And I like the look and I like the way that I get in and out of it. It's it's great. Compare that to this from the Green Room 136. I'll put a link to this in the description below. I can't remember exactly what the name of this bag is, but it's like their Metro Monger like sling. I really like as well. It's a little bit bigger. Oh, let me loosen this up. One of the things I don't like about it is I got two clips to get in. Anytime I'm getting in and out, I got two clips. Another thing I don't like is the big straps hanging down, right? But some of you love this kind of thing. Some of you love this. It's also probably gonna be a lot more affordable than some of these others, maybe, I don't know. Because it's actually, it's made with really good gear. You got a big fat strap, you got a big clip right here, which is sick. So their Metro Monger sling, which is on matterful.co slash slings, is I really like. It's bigger, it's boxier, I can fit a little more stuff, I can, I can see things really clearly, like my camera goes in like this, my pouch goes in like this, could easily have enough room next to that for all of this stuff to go like that, and it's almost big enough, I, I think it might even be big enough for the iPad, but don't quote me on that. I would show it to you right here, but I don't have it with me currently in San Diego. Okay, I'm not gonna show you everything on this bag, but I do wanna show you a couple interesting things. One thing for me is I don't love the clippy and the strappy quality, right? Some of you could customize that if you got really into it. But I do love this like, like expandability, right? This sort of water protection-ness, this huge like lunch sack thing. I mean, this thing will gobble up whatever you put in it. And it's gonna be hard for you to see if possible at all, but there's like a little like iPad sort of spot in the back or a place for maybe your smaller business papers. There are some pouches like zipped, or not zippered, but just like places to put stuff so that they're up against the bag and they're not in the middle and you can just have your big stuff in the middle. You also have a zippered pouch on the on the front, which is great. Get your stuff quick access on the outside, but I don't have any quick access like zipper that I, that I can get to without unclipping that. So everything's clipped in there. Be interesting to have a little like a zip thing for your phone quick in and out. You also have some Molly uh, attachments over here so you can put some uh, accessories and more, you know, you just have shit hanging off of this if that's your style, bro. I do love Green Room 136's stuff though. I mean, it's just simple, simple Cordura, simple materials, like the kind of like the best of the best, just like general, hard, you know, soft goods materials and good hardware and stuff like that. But I just think, Making bags out of that stuff is really, it's like a lost art almost. It's its its cool, I like it. So this, let's see real quick if this can fit my iPad or in what orientation. I mean, yeah, this goes right in. This goes right in. Let's see if it fits in that iPad sleeve in the back. Little tight, because it's got the silicone case, but it does, it fits right in. So for just an iPad carrying thing, this, is awesome, link in the description below. And then finally, I'll show you this one. This is the Dayfarer Tech Day Sling thing, right? Notice this, little zipper on the back, water sealed, perfect for my actual quick access. Up against my back, so, so it's harder for pickpockets to get into. Nice, one clip, and it's a Fidlock magnetic clip, so you easy to do with one hand. 
Really easy to do with one hand, it's just a slide. Oh, dig that. Oh, did you wanna see it again? Watch, you just throw this on top, oh. Oh, that's kinda nice. Okay, then we, we're opening this up again. We got some great space here, great space. Um, I leave my Apple Pencil here because it's a magnets. I feel like <laughs> magnets are sensational. <laughs> I can't believe this charges magnetic. This is the Apple Pencil. It's like literally the most impressive stylus I've ever used in my life. And it goes by magnet onto the, it's the law of attraction. I don't understand it, but I'm amazed by it. Every single time I plug that in and my, my computer goes, uh, my lap, my iPad goes, oh, Apple Pencil, 100%. Okay, so I just leave that there and throw that in here and look, it's a perfect iPad sleeve for this. Like I said, I have the silicone, like it kind of has a tacky um, feeling on the outside of this iPad case. So getting in and out, I think that'd be too annoying for me. So I just throw it in the main compartment, just like that. And then we're worried about like now, can I fit my, can I fit my camera and my smoke sack and my this, that, and the other. We've got also up before I put all that stuff in there. So a zippered pouch up against the iPad pocket there. Then you have two undies pouches with elastic on the top right here. And then one of them is a mag, like you have a magnetic key thing on one of them, a Fidlock magnetic. So it's easy to pull in and out and then you can just plop it on and it'll get right into it. And then also this zippered guy right out in the front. So you can, tons of organization in here. I like this liner a lot, by the way. It's a ripstop nylon. You can see it has these like squares in it when you get close up to it. It feels nice. It feels nicer than your basic sort of like simple nylon. And your outside, this is like a, you know, this is like a 10,000D, maybe even up to 1600D, 1680D Cordura or something like that. Ballistic, ballistic nylon on here. Nice little minimal branding. Bottom has a little bit of, looks like almost tarpaulin, like a, a, a coated, the same material, but just coated with a polyurethane or something. And then you've also got this great big, this is the, the what I call the boundary supply uh, magnetic clip because it's on their Boundary Supply Prima. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you like these clips. That's how their bag has these two clips on the front. And I like this. You've got a little dangle doohickey. There it goes. Just, it just happened. And I didn't hold that thing so it went away. But these magnetic, you know, little flipper dippers like this are nice because because sometimes you just want to, like you'll get used to it. You, you, you want to hold this with this and then this hand, your right hand. Okay? So just kind of putting it off, putting it on. Oh no. Like, so once it's in, it's really, it's really in there. So you can have a lot of stuff, like expensive stuff. This thing is gripped on, but all you got to do is pull this little tab and then it somehow unlocks the whole freaking thing. It's not as like clear, you'll get used to it. It's not as clear as the, the one that Bellroy's using where it's like, there's no, it's just, is really flat and simple. It just goes right into it. This has some like serious, like, like look at this thing. It clips up and then you've got this whole thing. Now you're holding it by this. You're holding it in its opened position, right? That's one of the things where it's like, there's just a little nubbins on this. It's sort of strange because you don't want to support the whole weight of your bag on that little nubbins, right? But then when you're putting it together, you kind of want to grab it from the bottom. So you take this to pull it off. All right. And now we're putting it on. Grab this from the bottom and there you go, locked in. So I'm excited, I'm kind of interested in trying this out for a little while because it fits my iPad. I can, even though it's not the easiest to get it in and out of that laptop sleeve in the back, um, I want to try that because it keeps it, you know, away from my camera, keeps it away from my smoke sack and all this stuff. I can take my glasses and probably put them right here with my little vaporizer, da da da. And now I've got like, you know, my, this guy goes, like this This fits it all a little bit better. I mean, geez Louise, if I could get this in here, I'd be sitting pretty. So let me see if I can't, cause the whole game is this. When you have more stuff, like you just, the more stuff I have, the more I want a backpack that I can just take up, pick and put down. Like I just put, I don't have to think about it. It's not flopping around my body, right? Let's see, does this fit my vertical like that? It does, but now we're look, now we're dealing with kind of a funky look. So what if I put my 
Camelback shoot water bottle, best water bottle in the world. You screw it on the top really tight. It has a magnet in it. You can see what's going on. BPA free plastic. It costs like $11. And this thing fits great um, in there. It's actually getting hung up on this little guy. So why don't I put this also in this front pocket, okay? I've got this guy down there, and then I could probably go yoink and yoink, put these guys sideways like that. So here's, here's the Dayfarer sling with all my gear, right? And uh, you can stretch this out a little bit, do that. So there we go, it's like a powerful little lunchbox. Another good thing about this is this great handle. I love this guy. Okay, it's like a little lunchbox, feels nice, it's good. Now I got everything that I need. It's, it's you know, it's kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy on me. I don't have an extra lens. I don't even have any extra batteries for this camera because batteries last for forever. So I don't bring a bunch of photo stuff with me. That's why I like that camera. It's just one fixed lens, right? But um, here's what it looks like. Tot like everything, everything that I wanted. I couldn't fit my water bottle in this um, with the can, well, I did this for a little while. Let me show you what I did. I swear to God, I'm gonna end this video soon, <laughs> okay? But here's one of the things that's cool. Okay, obviously I can't fit my laptop or my uh, iPad in here, which is a bummer, okay? But this, I wanna show you, I did put my um, water bottle in here for a while and then camera right on top and smokestack right on top, okay? So anytime I got the water bottle, I had to get it, like pull everything out basically, but the same thing was true over here. And you know, beggars and choosers, can't be, you know, pick one. Okay guys, really wanted to highlight this Bellroy sling because I've gotten so many questions about it. Wanted to show it to you according to, uh, you know, uh, like comparing it to other things. And I wanted to come a little clean about the fact that, you know, I know a lot of you are iPad people and this guy is not an iPad guy. Uh, or, or gal, depending on what you see when you look at that. Um, but no matter where you are, you can bring your own meat stick, okay? And get your body the nutrition that it needs for what? For getting out in the world, putting this on your body with the things that you need in it. What are you, an illustrator? What are you, a photographer? What are you looking at your, looking at your world through the frame, trying to tell the story, trying to capture the moment? No matter what, you can bring a meat stick. I don't know, is this like a paid advertisement for meat? I, it would be if I was getting paid, <laughs> but, but I'm not being paid by meat. Grass-fed, pasture-raised, let's start buying things, let's start buying specifically, let's start buying meat that's better, okay? You might not be able to find it at Whole Foods. You might not be able to find it at your local grocery. Normally Whole Foods does a good job. Get the good stuff. Spend more for better, it's your body that you're building. Spend more for better, or less, if it does what you need it to do. And you can stick with it. Because that's the difference between this. This isn't going in your body and your body isn't making its actual like bodiness out of this. This is stuff we're using as accessories on our body to enable us to do the work that we do in the world, okay? These are helpers. Helpers for what? Well, for you, but for you to do what? That's the question. This is your life. I have been Chase Warman Reeves. Thanks for paying attention to this video. <laughs> Subscribe if you're interested in hearing more about talking about conscious consumerism, how we can get closer to the vitality of our own alignment with our own selves in our life. That's just a big passion for me, is how do we get people lined up with like, I'm doing what I know I want to, or I'm even supposed to be doing. I don't like that supposed to word. What am I supposed to do? I, it makes me think of when I was, I used to be a Christian a long time ago, um, an evangelical, like a real kind of crazy Christian, culty even. But like, uh, <laughs> there was this thing in certain real, like I know some of you have like an Assemblies of God background, a really Pentecostal vibe, where like the people were, all the kids in the youth group or in like the college age, they were just running around going like, who am I supposed to marry? As, as if God's sitting there going like, uh, if you fuck this up, uh, <laughs> No, you know who's gonna be sitting there when you fuck it up? You. You're the one that's gonna have to live in that marriage and deal with it. So don't think about who you're supposed to marry. Explore who you're interested in. Explore what you're interested in experiencing and in, in helping, contributing to, what problems are worth solving for you. You wanna figure out what your life's about? Think about what, has, what, it is, what things have hurt you to learn. Where you have, where it has cost you a lot to learn things. And think about the other people who are going through that right now and they don't have any resource, they don't have any help at all. 
through this tough time of whatever it was that was the tough time for you, right? That's, see, that's where my heart is. That's where my passion is. Bags and all this stuff is secondary to that. And I love it because I'm so serious about the work I do in the world. And when I get a good piece of kit that really helps me do that work, that really helps me just have the things that I need when I need them, right? The tool that like, that like records my family's moments, right? And it forces me to get out of like, just like looking at my Twitter mode and take a picture. Like I have to get down, I have to frame it and do all the stuff. I like cameras like this and I like meat sticks. I'm done now. I'm done. Thank you for watching so much. I mean, Jesus, you have, you have so many options when you fly the friendly skies of YouTube. What are you doing here? I hope that you find a sling that you really love. Check out matterful.co slash slings to get yourself into something that is going to get you to and from with all the tools you need to do your work. Because you are a creative motherfucker, man. You really are. Like the human being is nothing if not create. I mean, we just can't help but create. So no, enough of this, I'm not creative, I'm not creative. No, like to be alive is to create. It's amazing, look at your poops. My daughter literally like looks at her poops, she's two. And it's so, it's such the perfect metaphor for creativity, I'm just sorry. Like look what you can't help but make. <laughs> Try loving what you can't help but make. Talk to you guys later, bye bye.